Let's have a look at the IP headers. First, a look back to the IPv4 header. This is an introductory course, so I will not talk about the different options. The only thing is look at it and think about it. So the header is pretty large. In IPv6, it's a bit larger because we have larger addresses. That makes sense, right? But we have different types. So the IPv6 header, everything that's blue is new. We have more bits because we have larger address space. Makes sense, right? But in general, the header is easier because it only contains these couple of classes. There is a source address, there is a destination address, and the most important is the next header field, which means, oh, the next header is coming. If you're using encryption or something like IPsec, then it is interesting to set the next header field. So the protocol knows, okay, there will be another header after this one. So in general, if you don't have anything special, you have just one easy header. This is the detailed explanation. That's nothing to talk about. You can read that if you like. This is about IPv4. And if you have questions about the IPv6, different options, you can read them here or just look on Wikipedia. If you have a next header field, there must be a next header. And a possible next header is an extension header. These headers are optional. And they are inserted after the fixed header. So the next header field contains the type of the different extension headers that is used. And it is possible to chain multiple extension headers. Let's have a look at the different types. We have hop by hop options header. We have destination options header. We have a routing header, fragment. We have authentication and ESP header, which is for IPsec. We have destination options and mobility, 